Ahoy hoy, I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about, I would say, one of, if not the most controversial SCPs on the SCP Wiki, SCP-2721, Lyris and Eli. Let's just open up, op open up the article really quickly. Here we go. Scroll up to the top. And first of all, we're going to talk. I have a squeaky chair. I really need to do something about it if I'm going to be making YouTube videos because I'm a professional. But um, <laughs> 2721 is about a pair of satellites uh, orbiting on the far side of the moon permanently. Therefore, they're out of sight of the uh, of the Earth on a, any sort of regular basis. I'm just going to go over the basics of the SCP before I go into why it's controversial or uh, what has uh, my intake on it, we'll say. Um, and that is that, again, it's these two satellites on the far side of uh, the moon. They are tasked with uh, cataloging and interacting with human culture and then eventually destroying the earth through some sort of reality altering event it's not really clear what's going on but that is it's pretty indi indicative that that's the basics of it they're supposed to view the one of the satellites jobs is to basically catalog what's going on on earth and the other one's job is to then destroy the earth uh, and these have gone to multiple planets and done this what happens however is that the <laughs> the satellite that's meant to catalog and understand uh, human culture comes across the webcomic Homestuck. And now I have to say, I personally have never read Homestuck. I'm not familiar with it very well as a webcomic. And this has really colored my original interpretations and... Uh, dang, this thing squeaks hard. <laughs> this has really uh, seriously affected my interpretation of it, I think, especially early on. Uh, this was written... I actually don't know, but I'm going to bet in 2016 sometime. It's hard to tell for sure because the, uh, the the page itself has been locked, so I can't check its history. Um, But yeah, it was written sometime around 20. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's correct. <laughs> sometime around 2016. Um, But it wasn't until, I want to say, more recently, although it wasn't. It wasn't too long after it was posted, but more recently than it was posted. Um, a collection of, uh, let's just say, internet trolls and angry people uh, decided they didn't like the article. My first reaction to this article was that I just didn't feel it. it just it wasn't wasn't for me. It didn't seem like um, I certainly respected what it was trying to do. But I mean, there's cross outs and black boxes in the containment procedures. There's, these are two things that I hate strike throughs and black boxes especially in the containment procedures like my god but <laughs> so that alone was enough to make me really dislike it uh, actually that's enough that that actually pushed me to a downvote originally um but also i didn't connect with it because i don't know homestuck at all and to be honest with you this is a very strong um this tells the story that this is telling is the story of hundreds of thousands probably millions of people in the world who deal with gender dysphoria and trans issues and as a cisgendered straight white male um it didn't really resonate with me in the same way and at first well i should say didn't resonate with me that way then uh in 2016 i knew i've known people in the lgbtq plus community considered some to be friends not friends just acquaintances but in general, um, I was a lot less familiar with, I should say, the struggles of people in that community. I mean, just recently, I, you, you, could, you could see this very recently when I did my video on uh, pixelated harmony. Uh, and uh, not only do am I, I'm bad with uh, pronouns because I'm bad with names. <laughs> it's just a quirk of my my memory is that I'm I'm really bad with numbers and names, things that don't atta aren't attached to a narrative, don't really click in my head. Even for people I know really well, um, I've forgotten my own name before. I've forgotten my family members' names before. So you can imagine how bad I am at remembering pronouns. Um, 
And that's fine, to be honest with you. It's not fine to make the mistake. You have to correct yourself. But it's fine to be bad with pronouns. You just need to be more careful. And in my case, I'm, I've started to ex I'm trying to excise pronouns from my vocabulary entirely. Uh, so as to uh, not hurt someone's feelings. It's the best way to put it. But recently, uh, I discovered more important information. And that's how important it is to get them right. It's not just that I'm bad with pronouns and that I make those mistakes sometimes, but I am absolutely 100% must correct myself. And probably in this case of a video, like actually edit out the mistakes. It's a very important thing to do. It's not quite to the level of a slur, but it's close. And it's something I need to be more cognizant of. And I wasn't aware it was that big of a deal until like, was it February? I don't remember whenever I made that apology video for the pixelated harmony thing because I got the pronouns wrong and I didn't realize how serious that was. And so uh, viewing this SCP article from the lens of somebody who these are not my struggles, trying to be an ally, of course, but also it's just it doesn't resonate with me as a story. Um, it, it allowed me to kind of ignore the point of the story. Because the point of the story isn't just about people whose struggles these are. The core um, anomaly, uh, the, the cataloger, the satellite that's trying to catalog uh, Earth's history and knowledge and, and art and everything before it gets destroyed, is, the, is a stand-in for a trans person, period. And they're dealing with, you no, know, she... It's a fictional character, but still. She is dealing with serious um, serious issues related to body dysmorphia because she is actually a satellite, uh, and so on and so forth. But because I skimmed it, because basically I read it and was like, well, this is boring, and, and I didn't really in internalize what was happening, I also missed the second half of it, the other satellite who's a stand-in for me. A, basically, a guy... Or, no, he, he go See, and you can miss this very easily because when first described, the pronouns it are used. So you might think that he's also... He, it. It's a stand-in for... It doesn't, ha, it doesn't exist on the same sort of uh, level as the other satellite. It is just a destructive satellite... Trying to make sense of its friend, who is now wanting to go by a she pronoun, and, and trying to understand these issues. And it's fucking me, you know? I'm trying to understand these issues, and I don't always succeed. I'm not always the best ally I could be because of the things I don't know. But I'm trying. And it's exactly what this other uh, satellite is doing. And I missed that the first time I read this article. And I read it again today to make this video because it's Pride Month and I thought it would be uh, a good opportunity for me to actually re dive into this again and, and revisit some of the earlier uh, controversies surrounding it. The truth be told is, is that, like I said, I completely missed the message of the second half of this. The other satellite who's just trying to understand their friend. But yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, by the way, um, let's... Uh, well, of course. No, no, the licensing information is on here. So I'm going to do the same thing I do for most of these. SCP-2721 by Kinch the Knife Blade and Dolphin Slug Chugger from the SCP Wiki source. HTTPS, <laughs> it could just be HTTP, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash SCP dash wiki dot wiki dot dot com forward slash protected colon SCP dash 2721 licensed under CC by SA. If you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when i upload new videos and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash d pledge on patreon at any level like everybody here on the screen already has including senjuriki who has pledged at hundred dollars and thank you for letting me know that i'm not alone out here i will see you all again on tuesday